today we're talking about vivid verbs. Verbs are the engines of sentences. The more specific the verb, the more energy and specificity the sentence will have. So let's imagine a boy was playing baseball. The boy hit the ball. So our sentence says, the boy went to first base. Went isn't a great verb. Let's choose a better verb that paints a better picture. The boy ran to first base. Went could mean many things, but ran is more specific. The more specific the verb, the more it tells us about the boy. Imagine how a different verb could give us a different image of the boy. What would the following verbs tell us about the boy? For example, the boy walked to first base. This tells me that the boy is not really serious about the game. How about this one? The boy tiptoed to first base. Either this kid is in the completely wrong sport, or he doesn't understand that you can't steal first base. How about the boy slid to first base? This tells me this kid is all about baseball. What would the verb trudged say about this boy? The boy trudged to first base. He's tired, he's exhausted, he doesn't want to play anymore. Specific verbs eliminate the need for adverbs. We don't need to say the boy walked slowly because trudged implies that. Get rid of your adverbs by finding more specific verbs. Let's take a look at how Lola Schaefer uses verbs in An Island Grows. Stone breaks. Water quakes. Magma glows. Volcano blows. Lava flows and flows and flows. An island grows. After sharing this book with students, have them practice making their own simple sentence of noun verb. Limiting yourself to a two word sentence forces you to use a vivid verb. Once they have the two words, they can expand the sentence further. Next, give students a piece of text to try revising the boring verbs for more vivid verbs. And finally, have students try revising their own writing by using a vivid verb thesaurus. They can take boring verbs like walk, went, or go and replace them with trotted, strolled, shuffled, or scooted. Take a look at your own writing. How vivid are your verbs? Let me know over at picturebookacademy.com. Thanks for joining me on Mondays with Mandy or Mira. See you next time.